Welcome to Time Out for Truth on April 5th. As we dive into God's playbook today, we're going to be traveling to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verses 11 through 19, the story of the 10 lepers. So let's pause the video now and get into God's Word. So here's what stood out to me. The lepers were outcasts with an infectious disease. The doctors of that time were actually the priests within the village. They were to declare someone clean or unclean, and if they were unclean, they couldn't associate with anyone within the general community. In other words, they were quarantined. Sound familiar? The lepers were truly bonded together with no hope. This tragedy crossed racial boundaries as there were both Jews and Samaritans within that village. They were desperate in need of mercy and healing. And they lifted their prayers together to Jesus from afar. Jesus has compassion, but he doesn't heal them right away. He shocks them by sending them back to the priest who had put them out of the village to begin with. No physical change had occurred, but in faith, the men obeyed. As they walked, they were healed. It's interesting that after this miraculous healing, that only one of the ten lepers comes back falls at the feet of Jesus in gratitude. Jesus notices this lack of gratitude from the other nine and gives the former leper an extra blessing, a healed and grateful heart. The cool thing about this story is I saw two truths at play. The first one is true healing requires something from us. Those 10 lepers, nothing physically happened to them until they took a step in faith toward that priest. Something they had to be thinking about was kind of weird. But as they did that, they were instantly healed. They were healed through their faith and their obedience. The second truth that I saw at play in this story was that you can receive a spiritual blessing from gratitude. There was only one leper that came back that fell at the feet of Jesus and grateful. And because of that, Jesus gave him that extra blessing of not only a healed heart, but a grateful heart. So here's the play. Make out a gratitude list of the times that God has healed you physically or spiritually through your faith and obedience. Write a brief prayer that you can recite to our great physician and healer, Jesus. Let me pray us out. Lord, Thank you for these truths that you have revealed to us today on who is our great physician and healer. I pray that we can continue to go on and act out of faith and obedience to you. I pray that we can have a grateful heart for the things that you have done and that you certainly are going to do in our lives. I pray this in the strong and powerful name of Jesus. Amen.